Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today is the part two. Part two of the video we went through yesterday. So yesterday we went through why I shoot Cine 2 on my Sony a7 III. Today we're gonna go through the way I color grade my footage. So I don't want this video to be 75 minutes long. I actually haven't checked if my microphone works. Works, just fine. As I said, I don't want this video to be 75 minutes long, so let's go straight into the video. So I've chosen six clips, anything from uh, a nightlife to a lake to kind of like any conditions, low light and not, shot on Cine 2, and I'm gonna show you the way I call grade. First of all, let me turn on screen recording. Okay, first clip, nightlife, second clip, it's a lake, third clip, it's rice fields, then we got some uh, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, and rice fields again. So let me show you what this clip is with nothing but the images. That was the sequence, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. I literally just took six clips and put it there, no music, no anything. I just wanna show you guys the process and what it looks before and after. Let's go straight into the way I color grade. This is probably not the way that people color grade, but guess what? I don't care. I like to do everything in the same tab, so I'm gonna look for Lumetri color and apply it, actually apply it to all of it and then I color grade like this here's my lumetri color here's my effects so first of all I am gonna color correct the footage and then I'm gonna color grade with LUT to speed things up I am gonna do this and this here's my presets I have color correct YouTube so basically I just apply this and this is a pre color correction preset that I made you can go and uh, get it from my store it's uh, linked below on self -I. this is free it's literally just like a drag and drop and it's a basic color correction that I like to use for my Cine 2 footage so when I make a video most most videos I just drop this and it works I obviously go through it and understand if the footage works this looks pretty good maybe a bit less shadows but that looks good to me and then we got this this is before this is after look at that nice color correction this is perfect beautiful 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 maybe this one let's put some uh, 0 0.5 yeah definitely a bit more highlights and minus 10 amazing and this one your footage is color corrected you are gonna go into your project double click or right click new item adjustment layer okay then you're gonna drag your adjustment layer over your whole sequence okay now because this is all different footage I'm gonna make a cut for each one and then I'm gonna put one on top So, usually I keep two adjustment layers. The one on the top, it's my fading, fade me. This is also for free on my shop. You should just go on the link below and get the fading for free. And as you can see, this is without fading, this is with fading. It's just like a tiny bit of fade that I really like it. And then for this one, I literally just apply the Lumetri color. Actually, let me apply it to everything. Lumetri color. And then for this one, I'm gonna go into creative, browse. We're gonna go to my LUTs. And we are gonna go to probably uh, Task to Dawn, usually works pretty well. And then definitely like 40%. That's before, that's after. That looks really good to me, honestly. One thing to remember that not many people know actually when you edit on Premiere Pro, what you see over here 
on your screen, it's not what you're gonna see once it's exported. Let me explain. So when you take a video, right, this is your video, and then it's on Premiere Pro, and then the raw video, you put color grading on it, and contrast and whatever, and then you export it. In the exporting process, it loses contrast and colors. That's just the way it is, because it gets compressed. And then you put on YouTube, or on Instagram, that processing to the platform compresses the video even more, so it loses, again, color and contrast. So if you look at this now, you're gonna be like, oh, but that looks horrible, like it's way too color graded and stuff. But once you export this, you put it on Instagram or whatever, it's gonna look amazing. So remember that all this color grading, color correct a tiny bit more than you think it's the right hand. On to the next one, we are gonna use to browse. Uh, I think for this one, probably Cine stuff. It's the one that's gonna work best. Still 50%. Wow, look at that. This is um, the phone is after. This is amazing. What you can do, if things are pretty similar, you can just put the same color grade. I think Cine stuff is gonna work on all of them. So I'm just gonna put the same color grade on all of them. I know I could put the same, I could just drag this over, but I wanna do this because maybe I wanna change it. Uh, this is pretty good though. This is before, this is after. It's amazing. This grade is amazing. Remember, you can get these presets, presets, this grading, these lots, lots. You can get these lots on my store, on my cell phone. Link is in the description. And then for this one, you see, like, seeing stuff just works for everything. Wow. Okay, so this is the way I color grade my footage. I go straight into color correct first. Then I put a fade on top, and then I put the lot on top, and then I adjust everything. Now, let's go through the same sequence with the color grading. That was the way I color grade. I hope I helped you. If you're shooting in the same way I'm shooting or using Cine 2 or Cine 4 or whatever you want, now you know the way I color grade. This is definitely not the right way to color grade and it's possibly the worst way to color grade, but I just go used to it this way and everybody has different workflow. So I like it this way and I will keep doing this way because um, this is the way I like. Hope you guys learned something. I hope you will remember me in your Right, uh, subscribe, like, I'll see you guys tomorrow, new episode of something, 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 see you tomorrow. Subscribe. Ding!